Hello, and greetings from the Tennessee Department of Human Services. We are here to show you how to use the One DHS Customer Portal to apply for SNAP, Families First, and other programs administered by our department. We'll explain how the portal makes it easy to apply for support programs, upload related verification documents, and link existing cases. You'll notice this video is split into chapter sections based on topic and portal features. You can use the playback bar to rewatch or skip to the information you need anytime and find more videos in the Apply for Services playlist on the at TN Human Services YouTube channel. To access the One DHS Customer Portal, visit the Department of Human Services website at www.tn.gov forward slash human services. From the top menu, select the down arrow next to Self-Service Tools. To apply for SNAP or Families First, select Family Assistance Online Application from the drop-down menu. This will direct you to the One DHS Customer Portal homepage. You can also access the page directly by typing onedhs.tn.gov into your web browser. From the home page, you can apply for TDHS programs like SNAP, Families First, or Child Care Payment Assistance using a One DHS Portal account. If you are only interested in applying for SNAP, you can complete an application as a guest on the One DHS Customer Portal. If you choose to complete your SNAP application without setting up an account, the system cannot save application progress. Guests who are interrupted before completing an application may have to start over. Completing an application without an account also means you will be unable to access features that make it easy to check your case or benefit status or view personal information related to other TDHS programs. If these features are not important to you, and you'd like to complete an application as a guest, scroll down on the portal homepage and select Apply for Benefits to follow the prompts to complete the application. Remember, guests cannot save application progress without completing the application. Having an account allows you to view your history with TDHS programs, check the status of your case, and access other easy-to-use portal features that help you manage your TDHS experience. If you do not have an account and would like to create one, you'll need a valid email address. To begin, select Create One Here on the One DHS Portal homepage. To create a One DHS account, enter your information into the fields on the form. Although some fields are optional, fields with asterisks are required. When choosing your password, remember the password must be at least eight characters in length. Include at least one uppercase letter. Include at least one lowercase letter. Include at least one number. And must include at least one special character. After choosing and entering your password, you'll need to re-enter the password to confirm it. To finish creating an account, you must agree to the TDHS customer service terms and conditions and select, I am not a robot. Once you finish the form, an email will be sent to your address to confirm your account creation. Check your email. The email confirmation will look like this. If you don't see the email in your inbox, check your spam, junk mail, or other filter folder. After you open the confirmation email, Simply click the link as instructed and you will be redirected to a confirmation page. This is the screen confirming your account has been created. After the account is set up and the email is verified, return to onedhs.tn.gov to log in using the email address and password that was entered while setting up the OneDHS account. After login, the system will ask you to verify information regarding your identity. To verify your identity, you will follow the prompts on each page. This may include entering more specific information about yourself and confirming information that is specific to you. Once identity verification is complete, you can move forward with applying for benefits. From the main One DHS Customer Portal page, 
select the first block, apply for child care and or family assistance, also known as food and cash benefits. Support programs like SNAP, Families First, and child care payment assistance typically require participants to submit documents that verify their identity and household details as part of the application process. The Before You Begin section includes important details about these requirements, the application, and interview process. Review this information and note what documents you may need to proceed with the application process. After reading the information, you will be ready to scroll to the bottom and select Next. This option officially starts your application. Once you start the application, you will have 48 hours to complete it or the application will be deleted. The information on the next page describes the programs you can apply for and the type of information that will be needed to apply. From here, the application will lead you through a series of questions. On each page, fill in the information and click Next at the bottom of the page. If you need to take a break, you can save the application and exit, but must return within 48 hours to complete the application. If you are applying as a guest, you cannot save your application and must complete it all at once. When you reach the Benefits Selection page, you'll notice that there are checks besides SNAP, Families First, and Child Care Payment Assistance. These checks indicate that you are applying to receive benefits for each of these programs. If you do not want to apply for all programs, simply uncheck the program or programs that are not the right fit for your household. Select Next when you've completed your selections on the page. The application asks applicants to provide personal and household information. Be sure to review each summary page to ensure all information is correct before continuing. Once the application is complete, you cannot return to edit the application. The application summary page is your last opportunity to review your information and make any needed changes. Once the application is complete, you will not be permitted to make further changes until the interview. Before the application is complete, you must review the rights and responsibilities. To finish the application, you will check the box to agree that you have read and understand your rights and responsibilities before clicking Next. On the Sign and Submit page, read and make selections for each question, then electronically sign the application. Once the application is submitted, you will be given an application number. Be sure to save this number for future reference. You also have the option to view your application as a PDF and print the document. To move forward with your case, you need to verify your information by submitting a series of documents. The next step in the application process is providing verification documents. These personal records help verify information included in your application. Documents may include proof of identification, residence, citizenship, income, and more. Applicants have 10 days to submit the requested documents. To submit a document individually, first choose the document that is to be submitted from the drop-down menu. Then choose the type of document being uploaded. You will then be prompted to find and add the document from your computer or phone. You also have the option to upload all verifications in a single document file by selecting I have uploaded all my verifications in a single document. Once the document is ready, select Choose File. Once the document is uploaded, it will appear on the page. You can choose to upload more documents or choose to submit the uploaded document. Once documents are uploaded, the system will show that documents were uploaded successfully. You can review a list of the uploaded documents by selecting My Submissions. The application and file upload is complete. The One DHS Customer Portal also includes features that allow users to link an existing case or use the dashboard to view and manage benefits, authorize access, seek appeals information, view notices, and upload documents. You can find videos on other features in the Applying for Services playlist on the at TN Human Services YouTube channel.